Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another Attack on Titan. This will be episode 12 of season 4. Before we get into it, I just want to give a shout out to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash chasman24x. I stream horror games and I stream shooter games as well. I've also got a Discord for my YouTube and my Twitch. The, the link will be in the description and the pinned comment. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They are both chasman24x as well. Okay, last episode, episode 11. Um, obviously, I was, a, I was a bit confused about Eren being detained. And he has, he has his own followers. And the survey, uh, well, the scouts aren't really believing in him as much. Like, he's getting a bit out of control. And I was a bit confused by that, but the moral of the story is Eren has some followers who believe in him and believe that he is the saviour of Paradise Island. So you had Flock and you had three or four other people within the scouts, uh, the recruits I think, who were leaking information to the press about what they're doing to Eren, keeping him detained and... The majority of Paradise Island want him freed because they see him as a hero. Whereas the scouts just want to kind of keep him at bay for a bit because he's getting out of hand and Mikasa and Armin aren't really trusting him as much as they used to. We also had the, the little girl on the farm. I think it was at Sasha's family's farm. But yeah, she was telling Gabby and Falco about life inside the walls basically and how they aren't devils and if the devils were killing Marlians a hundred years ago like what's it got to do with us kind of thing like why did my mum have to die her to die so Gabby and Falco are getting a, a taste of the reality um inside the walls on Paradise Island obviously they've been brainwashed since growing up about how the island is full of devils, but we know that's not the case. Everyone's basically the same. Erin said it to Reiner. This girl was saying it to Gabby and Falco. Um, and then right at the very end, Reiner said, they're not going to expect us to attack, so we just we need to do an attack now, basically. So yeah, that was last episode. That was called Deceiver. This episode, episode 12, it's called guides that's it just guides oh yeah someone told me that Niccolo is the person at the restaurant the Malian working at the restaurant that Gabby and Falco are gonna see someone told me that but yeah I'm hoping it's not too much of a spoiler but it does kind of make sense because he was cooking that fish okay so this is it guides let's go Annie again. Hitch。True <laughs> man, she's been sleeping for fucking 3 seasons. Talk to Erin. Oh no. それでも3日に踏み切った買い物ありエレンの誘導に成功し、ジークが望んだ通りの結果を得たわけじゃな。そんなことでは意味がありません。私はただエレンイエガーに私を知ってほしかっただけで、わしもそう信じたい。エレンと交わした会話のすべてをお聞かせ願おう。うまい嘘のつき方を知っとるか。時折事実を混ぜて喋ることじゃ。順序は正しくないが、君たちを拘束しなくてはいけない理由ができた。イエレナについて知っていること
君たちとウレンを面会させることはできないどうしてでしょうか義勇兵とウレンの接触が明らかになったからだ事態はより慎重を期する話は以上だ It's all barely straightforward, man. Barely straightforward. I'm not talking that much. I don't know what What the hell just happened? I don't know what happened. Yeah, they did. Three of them. Oh, fuck. They're breaking him out, man. What, what is going on here? Eren's like a lone wolf. With Yelena. This is his fucking revolution. There's nothing you can say. There's nothing you can say to him. Shit. Find out where Zeke's being held. Fuck! A new Eldian Empire, a new name for Eldia used by those on Paradise who are sympathetic to Eren Yeager's actions. They have rallied around Eren and the name, causing disorder in the island, which is currently divided on whether to attack other nations or not. Man, that explosion to Dallas Zachary. That was so out of the blue. I thought it was like a suicide bomber or something. The three that went in. So they did spot some scouts leaving just before they went in to visit him. And it could have been Flock. It could have been any of them, man. Flock literally just said we've got more. But there's nothing, there is nothing uh, Armin and Mikasa can say to Eren to change his mind now. Eren's planning all this shit behind their backs. He's not even talking to them about it. Eren doesn't, uh, Eren doesn't even seem to want Mikasa and Armin to follow him. Like, he never did in the beginning. But Mikasa... Mikasa made a promise to his mum about looking after him and keeping him out of danger. And I think Armin just kind of tagged along. But they both got caught up in Eren's mess. And Eren is out messing on his own now. And Mikasa and Armin still think they can persuade him. I don't think that's... I don't think that's possible. Yeah, I think Eren's too far gone, man, to be spoken to. But let's carry on. Let's get some Zeke. Some Zeke action, finally. Jaegerists. Jaegerists. この国がどうなろうとあなた様だけはお守りいたしますこの状況を踏まえた上でジークやイエレナによって仕掛けられた保険が効果を発揮してきているそして保険が他にもまだあると考えるべきだ彼女が守ったマーレジンホルの労働環
getting fucking pissed. I'm. Man, I don't even know what to say, man. Rest in peace, Dallas Zachary, for, uh, first of all. He, uh, he's he been blown up, man. What for? Because he was the... He was the head. He was the leader. So them, them scouts, they could have been... They could have been set up by a peak chair here. The scouts could have actually been Marlians. Who blew up Zachary. But how did Peekcha get here? How did she get here? Every single ship that's come to Paradise Island, they've they've managed to capture that like no ship, like thirty ships or something, have gone to Paradise Island and none have returned. So how the fuck did Peekcha get there? I just don't understand, man. I'm not like I'm not understanding this. Like the Eldians left Mali, and they've literally got a Malian. In Paradise Island, like right under their noses, man. It's like it's starting, it's starting to fucking piss me off a little bit, man. All these, like, do they not? Did do they honestly not? Uh, did not? Does no one see this coming? Like, Erin literally was just undercover in Mali for ages, and the Malians would have discussed it afterwards. And do the Eldians just not think that there would be anyone coming in undercover? Fucking hell, man. This is like another reaction the other the other day, man. Like two episodes ago, two or three episodes ago, I was the exact same reaction, man. I'm just I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Like back in season one, it was it was Ryder and Bertolt that are undercover. Beginning of season four, then it's Erin undercover in Mali, and now it's Peekchair undercover in Eldia, Paradise Island. It's just back and forth, man. It's just the same stuff happening over... Fuck! It's just the same stuff happening over and over again, man. Cool, they got, they're, they're riding their horse off to a restaurant where Niccolo is. And Gabby, and they're investigating... Like, did they, but they must have known this was going to happen. What is so wrong about what Erin is doing as well, man? Like, fair, fair enough, like, the power's gotten to his head a little bit. But is Erin going off to find Zeke to do the plan of the founding Titan with the with the Titan with the royal blood? Like, is that it? Because I'm all for that, man. I'm all for it. What's what's everyone else doing? They keep they want to they want to keep Erin in a cell. What for? Armin and Mikasa said they could be replacing the founding Titan. So who's it going to be? They're looking for candidates, man. What do you mean they're looking for candidates, man? You got the fucking whole world basically after you, and they're looking for can they're looking for people to take over the Van Titan. What the fuck? They just wanna they wanna do that rumbling thing with Erin. Is that right? So Hanji Zo right? <laughs> fuck, Hanji Zo. Their plan is to keep Erin detained. Cool. Do they do they want to do the rumbling at all? Do they want him and Zeke to interact to to do the the founding Titan touching the Titan with the raw blood? Is that what Hanji Zo and all of them want, or do they want something else? What's their objective here? What do they want? And that lady, that lady Kiyomo or whatever her name is, telling Mikasa, "Oh, if if it all goes tits up, come to my ship." What? What? For what? To escape, like to get out of here, or what, man? Like this, this Hizuru clan must need a leader like Mikasa. But Mikasa's like, ah, oh, I'm an Eldian, I'm staying, or whatever. Cool. So that's that storyline done. Or is Mikasa gonna go with them? Is she gonna find out that Erin is at the point of no return? You can't persuade Erin, so she's just gonna fuck off to Hizuru with like to fulfil her duty. What's Armin gonna do then? Do you know what I'd really love? I'd, I'd just love it next episode for Peekcha. Just to turn into her titan. <sighs> I'm losing my mind, man. I'm losing my mind. I think it's because there's just so much information. Like, I feel like I'm being dicked. 
I feel like I'm being dicked. Season 4, meant to be the last season, 16 episodes, cool. Episode 12, I'm being hit again with so much more information. And then it ends on Peekcha being undercover. So what? What's what? Fuck. There's still like, there's still no, still no Levi and Zeke, like, no real reason why it's fucking, I'm, fuck, it's because I'm not getting the answers I want, I'm just getting hit with brand new information, like, bang, 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 like, I'm trying to get through this information to try and find out what other shit's going on, man, I want to know why Zeke has jumped ship for no reason at all. For me, it's no reason at all. He's jumped shit for no reason. Like, he was fucking dossing fucking boulders at Irwin and the, all the fucking survey corps, like, what, a season ago? Now he's just he's just completely changed his mind. What are you talking about, man? I'm starting to believe it. Who said it when Dallas Zachary said they believe that Zeke is trying to manipulate Erin, man? Right, we'll go from the beginning. Armin wanted to touch Annie because of the memories thing. If if she touches, if he touches Annie's case thing, she might get some memories. But Hitch stopped him. Then we went. Then it was the intro. Uh, then they noticed that there was more and more crowds gathering outside, like they were surrounding the whole HQ because they want Erin freed because he's like the savior of Paradise Island. Then we saw Commander Pixis and Yelena talking. Um, Yelena revealed that she secretly met with Erin. Did, Yel did Yelena meet with Erin before they went to Mali? That must have been. Erin must have told her, her the plan. And then Pixis said, I want to know everything that you and Erin spoke about in this meeting. And that there were more. More people involved. Then we go to Han Jizo and Unyakapun, is that his name? He was with her the whole day. Right, um, then Hanji asked Unyakapun to come with her. Then we got Mikasa and Armin speaking to Dallas Zachary about Erin. He doesn't want them two to see Erin because of the, the news coming out about Yelena meeting with uh, Erin secretly. Then they noticed the chair, and then they walked out, and then they said, then Makasa and Ar uh, Armin said, let's eavesdrop on this meeting, because they saw three scouts go into Zachary's office, because they were afraid that they were going to be picking a new candidate for the founding titan. And then it blew up. So Zachary's dead. The scouts are behind some... A few scouts are behind it. We don't know which ones yet. Obviously the ones that are on Erin's side with Flock. Um, the, the civilians outside the HQ obviously saw the big explosion and that riled them up a bit saying oh, they're, they're being hit where, they're, where they live or whatever. Then we see Erin meeting with Flock and his other followers. And the meeting, the meeting between everyone, man, it confused me. I'm on the meeting now. With that Hizuru, with the Lady Kiyomi, and Kapixis. Kapixis uh, is taking charge, I think, now. After Armin kind of bigged him up. And there's a whole nickname given to the people on Eren's side called the Jaegerists. And everyone, basically everyone's against everyone, man. They don't know who's a spy and who's not. So there's huge conflict going on at Paradise Island. So, the surprise attack that Reiner mentioned last episode, at the end, would be very welcoming. I think it would work, because no one can seem to fucking trust each other. And all these secret meetings between Yelena and Erin and whoever it was, this all happened whilst Marley was at war for four years. It's kind of lucky that both sides had their own problems at the same time, otherwise the other could de easily decimate the other. But yeah... That's it. That's all I got from the episode. Fuck, man. Do you know what? I'm stopping it there, man. <sighs> I hope everyone feels the same as me. Like, this information is just too overwhelming. Too overwhelming. I'm expecting the series to come to an end. 
like this is episode 12 and there's 16 episodes so in my mind there's five episodes left it should be it should be kind of starting to end right but we're not we haven't we still haven't seen zeke oh fuck, i'm not getting into that again i'm stopping it there thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed this reaction you can watch the full reaction to this, to this episode over on my patreon you can also watch the full reactions to the previous 11 episodes and the f previous three seasons of attack on titan and if you're watching this episode on YouTube, this is episode 12. Um, then I can say episode 13, 14, 15, and 16 will be on my Patreon as well. So yeah, the whole of, when you if you're watching this episode on YouTube, the whole of season four will be on my Patreon in full. Um, thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you for episode 13 of Attack on Titan. Hopefully, it's not too confusing. Huh? Take it easy.